I'm going to show you a couple different ways to find the multiples of a given number. Let's say you get an example that asks you to list the first six multiples of the number 5. What you would need to do is use your multiplication facts and go through them the first six. First would be 5 times 1, which equals 5. So the red 5 in this example would be the first multiple of 5. The next multiple you get would be by you doing 5 times 2, which gives you 10. Then you keep going. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 5 is 25. Finally, 5 times 6 is 30. When you look at your list, all of these red numbers on the right represent the first six multiples of 5. For those of you who haven't memorized your multiplication facts, here's another strategy you could use when trying to find the multiples of a number. Again, in this example, we're using the number 5, so you would want to start by writing down the number 5. So if you don't know the times tables for 5, since we're trying to find the multiples of 5, for every number you would add 5. So to get the second multiple of 5, I would add 5 to 5, as I've done here with the red 5. The answer to that would be the f next multiple, which equals 10. So 5 is the first multiple, 10 is the second multiple. To get the third multiple, I would add another 5, and 10 plus 5 equals 15, which gives me the third multiple of 5. To get the fourth multiple, I would add another 5, and 15 plus 5 equals 20. I would keep doing the same thing all the way until I got to 30. So if you look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 black numbers, those represent the first six multiples for the number 5. You might be wondering why it's important to know how to find the multiples of a number. I'm going to show you one situation where knowing how to find multiples can help you win a game. Another game that goes along with our textbook is called the product game. And what, how the product game works, along the bottom of the game board are factors, and you and another person play this game together. Player one would go first by putting a, circle, a paper clip on any one of these factors below. So let's say player one uses five. You're player two and you choose four. Since you put your paper clip on the number four, you would have to know what the product of four and five is. Or you would have to know what multiple of five 5 times 4 would give you. So if you go back to either strategy that we used before, you will see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 4 is 20, or using the first strategy, go down to 5 times 4, and that's 20. Now on the game board, you would be able to take your crayon or marker or whatever you're using as your color and put it on top of the number 20. Now your opponent would move either one of the paper clips. Let's say they moved the paper clip that was on the 4 and moved it to the 7. They would need to know what multiple 5 times 7 gives them and then they would mark it in this case they would mark 35 because 5 times 7 is 35 and then you keep going until somebody gets four in a row so I hope this helps you to understand how to find multiples and one use for them good luck when you and your partner play the product game